Bonjour! We have just come out of the Moogla show and with Callum Knight here. Um, super exciting because Moogla has recently, well, semi recently had a changing of the guard. Um, Casey Cadwallader is the new creative director of Moogla. He was previously at Acne and previously before then, lots of amazing places such as um, Narcissa Rodriguez and such. And such. Um, so you can kind of get a vibe of his aesthetic. Um, and this is his second show, I believe, second runway show. We've had a pre pre fall or pre spring, I can't remember which one it was. Um, preview as well and the first show was um, lots of latex super sex um, Cardi B was attending um, and um, lots of kind of latexy pools a little bit space agey and that's exactly what you would expect from a Moogler show Moogler is known for these fantastical shapes super sex appeal wonderful um, cutting of the form it's all about the waist um, for Moogler um, so I'm really excited to see what we were presented with this morning a um, little bit um, I was going to say mixed bag, but I think that's a bit too negative. Um, as, as a show, standing alone, removing any context from it, I actually thought the fashion was really beautiful and really lovely and very cohesive, um, and I think will do incredibly well. However, once you put the layers of Moogla on top of that, you could start to pick at it a little bit more. Um, and I think there were some really beautiful pieces that referenced the house code, such as these wonderful neoprene jackets, which are really snatched in the waist and then pop out ever so slightly. There was one look that I thought was spectacular, which was um, a neoprene jacket tucked in and then a flouncy mini skirt underneath. And then these are fantastically thigh high patent boots. Um, each of these boots, by the way, were all thigh high and with a slight suspender element. I thought the suspender element was great because that's a little whimsical Moogler touch that you would normally see. Um, so I really like that. Neoprene as well is something that um, Casey's been working with a lot and a lot of moulding to the form, which is really good, which is really great for Moogler, really works with the house. Um, it's all about this slightly explicit sexuality. So I feel like the suspenders, the thigh high boots and these, um, these jackets were a real nod, but otherwise a slight miss missing of that kind of sexual oomph. Um, Moogla is a brand that's really, well, was really associated with the supermodels and celebrity, and now even more so that you know, Cardi B wore the, um, Cardi B's been raiding the archive, and so it's Kim K and all this kind of stuff. So it's moved on from kind of Linda supermodel to Kim K supermodel, but actually this collection didn't connect with either of those. There wasn't really a supermodel moment in any of, the, in any of these looks for me. Um, it felt very, um, very wearable, very beautiful, but a little bit of a disconnect with that power that Moogla has for this slightly nighttime, slightly, um, slightly odd aesthetic. Moogla is one of the brands that can really challenge and has done really amazing postmodern shapes and metal corsets. And so seeing this, I was a little bit uh, something amiss. Um, however, saying that, some really nice dresses which were um, hourglass white, I think, to the mid calf, and then um, lots of prints and patterns down the sides. Um, which really showed off the figure, which is really lovely. Um, but I do think the clashing of prints, there's lots of leopard prints and florals and shears, um, and the general colour palette of kind of burgundies and that deep green was quite acne, which is where Casey comes, uh, Casey's background is in. And there was definitely that that almost acne vibe. Um, it, if you remove Moogler from it, I don't know if you would have guessed immediately that this was a Moogler show. Um, so I'm a little bit torn. I think it was a really beautiful collection, but with the context of the whole brand, um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not entirely sure. Cal, what did you think? So I think that, you know, Casey's got... So we went to the pre-collection. Yes. And we were blown away. It was spectacular. So he's working off the back of knowing that in stores is going to be an incredibly Mugler, incredibly well-made collection. So he can... so he's got a base yeah. for this season so this season so when I walked in I was thinking okay so he knows he's got that so he can play around and all and he can you know be a bit more experimental because he's already sold a great pre-collection mm. of so he's already got the main bits of these of the of this season into stores that's all confirmed yeah which is like one of the really important things about pre-seasons is that actually they're, they're where lots of designs make the most money I, I do see what you mean that obviously that, you know there's no metal there's no you know there's none of that yeah. Moogler However, I think a lot of the fabrications are a lot more complicated than we're seeing. True. Like, I know neoprene's really hard to work with and just some of those seams and that pattern cutting, I think, is all very digitally done. Yeah. I think there's, you know, he's a man who's incredibly interested in AI and the future, so maybe whilst the end product isn't as 
quote unquote futuristic, mm. maybe the devil's in the process, and that's where he's honouring Mugler. Mm. I, you know, I'm not in the studio every day, so it's not. I'm not saying that from <laughs> any knowledge, but I just looking at the clothes, you can see that maybe he's got this. He's instead of taking the literal references, he's taking them more as a mindset to then yeah. look at modern clothes because I don't, I don't think it's necessarily the right time to be send to be sending what Mugler was sending down the catwalk in the 80s mm. now it's great to look back and see how that influenced fashion but mm. I don't think it's the right time for those now I don't think they would sit right yeah. with an editor now I don't know if I was expecting 80s no, no, Mugler but I kind of wanted a bit more of the, what we saw in the pre-collection just so, so much mm. because there's that technicality that you're talking about that we saw in the pre which everything's like moulded to the body and it's like cut so fantastically to the form and I feel like that was a little bit missing yeah no I, I'm sure and I, I get I, as I say I guess it's because in his mind he's already done it <laughs> you know he's always like done that for free <laughs> um, but I think it takes a while with a new designer to find their feet at a yeah. house but I think that especially from the pre-collection yes. he's like got he's got his he's got his um, bread and butter there yeah and like him playing around with all these different fabrications they're beautiful patchwork ruched dresses that I thought were a great kind of way of looking at different form but still quite Mugler yeah it's still very sexy and still you know and still actually very very flattering yeah it was um, a very flattering collection actually and you know that a lot of people could wear it and look fantastic in yeah. it and there was good casting different size casting great casting there was you know those people you know there were people with bums and breasts and yeah. it was they were just lovely to see because I, you know when we saw I keep talking about this pre-collection but when we saw this pre-collection we saw it on a hanger we didn't see it on anyone yeah. so it was lovely to see these clothes kind of come to life and they really work on people Yeah. Um, so I think there's definitely I think it's definitely doubles in the details with yeah, this and I think sure. if you went into a store and you had a sales ex associate or if you were lucky enough to meet Casey and he, him explaining to you yeah. you do totally understand where all of these references are coming from but sometimes it's hard to translate that in a show but yeah. not impossible not so. impossible no and um, I, I, before I make this negative review <laughs> I do love Casey at Moogler I think it's a really good match yeah, together so I. and I am really excited to see him grow within the house and keep exploring these devils in the details and all these wonderful shapes so also from he loves it and I think it's yeah, really important yeah. just to note is that when we spoke to him I was just like how is the Moogler archive and he was like it's amazing it's like do you, you know what I mean like he's, yeah. he's as happy and giddy to be there and you can feel that in the work so maybe that also comes across in slightly maybe not being as focused but like he's a kid in a candy store yeah for you sure. know he has access to all of this archive and how do you choose the ultimate Moogler thing when you're yeah. looking at 20 year archive yeah of you know so many different looks so anyway so looking, very exciting. looking forward to see what he does when he's raided the candy store a bit more <laughs> um, thank you guys very much for watching lots more to come over Paris Fashion Week and um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a trick and um, we'll see you guys very soon